So first thing here, got a Game Boy Advance, uh, the Indigo purple one, very, very clean, very nice shape. It has the battery cover on it and everything. Very nice screen. It's got one light, light scratch on the corner, um, but not bad at all. Works perfectly fine. So there's that. Um, Tyler, you can go ahead and show the games that came with it. There was four games. There was two Game Boy Color games and uh, two Advanced games. Alright. First one here is Donkey Kong Country. Very nice game. That one's really cool to have on Game Boy Color. It's basically just the same thing as Super Nintendo, just poured it over the Game Boy Color. It had one little light, you know, hole in the um, label, but not bad at all. And then when I saw this game in there, I almost freaked, guys. This was incredible. Um, before I, you know, we go on, uh, this was basically like a blind lot. I didn't even see everything in the box when we were buying it. Um, I just saw what was on top, really, and um, that kind of sold me already. So I didn't even get to see it all until we got home and, you know, went through it all. But anyways, this was at the bottom of the box when we got home and we saw it. Now it is Pokemon Crystal version. Very, very cool, guys. Very nice shape. I thought that was incredible to find in there. Um, but that did have, let me see, I think I have it. Yep, right here. It did come with the manual, which is really, really cool. Um, the only thing wrong about that game is uh, the battery does not save. Um, but I think I can just order some batteries online or whatever and, you know, swap that out or whatever. I'll figure something out. So that, can, that shouldn't be that big a deal. All right, we got the two GBA games here. We got Mega Man uh, Battle Network 3 Blue Edition. I think we have the red one, so that one definitely is going to go in the collection. If not, it might be an upgrade or whatever. And I mean, I don't think I have that one, so that's definitely cool. Yeah, that one's really cool here as well, and that is Pac-Man collection. Very, very cool, guys. I thought that was incredible um, just to see the GBA and uh, Game Boy Color stuff in there. That was really cool. So there's that stuff. All right. Then we've got these two things here. We've got uh, PS1 RF Switch here, official Sony brand. And same thing, PS2, PS1, or PS3, our, our AV cable here, very nice shape, so there's those. Then we've got one of those um, RF TV splitter cables, it's like a Radio Shack kind of deal. So there was that. Um, then we've got a stack of manuals and stuff here. We've got a Predator Pelican uh, PS2 controller manual, there's that. We've got the manuals and stuff for the GBA, very cool. Then we've got the Mega Man Battle Network 3 Blue uh, manual. Very nice shape, very crispy. Um, then we've got a Mega Man Network Warrior, not for resale, Capcom bonus disc. Um, never been opened. Um, very, very cool. I had never seen anything like this. I'm pretty sure this was supposed to come with the Mega Man game. Um, but it is a CD, I think, or something like that. It's like a bonus disc. I have no idea. I've never seen one before. Um, but then we have a plug and play TV games manual very nice shape very crispy manual um, then we also have a paddle games TV plug and play Atari manual very cool then we've got another PlayStation interactive sampler disc which has a bunch of um, bonus you know like uh, demo of games um, we've got like Contender, A Bugs Life, Cool Borders 3, Spyro uh, Crash Bandicoot Warped R4 Ridge Racer um, WCW, NWO, Thunder, Siphon Filter, stuff like that. It's a bonus disc for all the demos of the new games that were supposed to be coming out. That has been opened, but the disc looks brand new. And then we also have a couple of mailing cards for uh, one PS1 game, with uh, which is uh, Croc Legend of the Gabos, uh, which is really cool. So those were in there. Then we also have a bunch of cheat code stuff. Um, there's like packets of just, you know, cheat codes for a bunch of PS1 and PS2 games, guys. A huge stack of stuff. So this guy was definitely a gamer. He had plenty of cheat codes and stuff. Um, there was a bunch, here's some like sticky notes and stuff that he also had, which is pretty cool. Might as well just hang on to those and throw those into my uh, cheat code folder that I have. But he also had here a Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver Pocket Guide, uh, which is really, really cool. Very nice uh, condition for, you know, considering that it's been laying around. Um, it's got some creases in the binding and stuff, but not too bad. But then we also have a Brady Games uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Strategy Guide here. Very nice shape. He also has pages of cheats in there as well, which is very, very cool. I thought that was just awesome. Because uh, when I was younger, I used to do cheats for this kind of stuff all the time. You know, Grand Theft Auto and stuff. Who wouldn't want to be you know, infinite and have the tank and run around and stuff? So, anyways, that was really, really cool. Uh, what else? I guess we could show these. We have here, um, here's one wired Guitar Hero guitar, 
very, very clean. Uh, it's wired, see? There's that one. And then we also have a wireless one. Very, very clean shape. Also came with the dongle. So very, very cool. So there's that. Uh, the wireless one goes for PS2 or PS3, and the wired one is obviously for PS2. So not bad shape at all. They look brand new, so that's very cool. All right, and then here's one of the coolest things that I'm, you know, I had not seen in a garage sale in a long time, guys. Um, I was finally happy to find one. Uh, we have a Super Nintendo console here, guys. It is a little yellowed. Um, but it is a very, very clean console. Not a single scratch or chip in it, guys. And this thing was hardly dirty at all. This guy took very care good care of his stuff. Um, I could not complain at one bit. This took me, you know, not very long to clean up at all. Um, so I was very, very happy uh, to have seen this console in there. Um, you know, when he said Super Nintendo, I was kind of thinking, yeah, he might have a couple games or something. I don't know if he had the console or anything anymore. Um, but he sure did, so that was very, very cool. But the Super Nintendo came with, of course, both cords, the official power brick and the RF switch here. Very nice shape. Um, not too banged up or anything. You know, a lot of them have like paint chips and stuff on them from, you know, kids like banging them against the wall and whatnot. But then it also came with um, two official Nintendo brand controllers. Very, very clean condition controllers. Hardly used is what it looks like. I mean, they're very nice shape. So um, I'm kind of assuming. I'm not sure, but I'm kind of assuming this is his original Super Nintendo. It just looks that way. Um, just how ke well kept it is. I mean, I mean, if this was like a used one, it probably would have been really banged up or something just from transport from one house to the next. Something like that. You know, s you know stuff like that happens. But anyways, he had three games for it, um, and they're all good, which is really, really cool. The uh, first one here is Donkey Kong Country. Very, very clean. I'm going to hang on to this. Um, just because one day I might find the uh, Donkey Kong Country boxed set, and if I do, the chances are it might not have a cartridge in it. Um, so I'm definitely going to be hanging on to this cartridge just in case. Um, so that's very, very cool. Alright, the next one here is we've got NBA Jam. Very, very clean. Um, that one is probably, it might be an upgrade. I'm not positive, I'll have to check. Uh, but it has a very nice looking label, so that was very cool. I remember playing that one a lot as a kid. Same thing with Donkey Kong Country. Those were great games. Um, the last one here, it's a little sun faded, but not too bad. It's uh, definitely the worst looking one of the three, um, but it still works fine, and that is Super Mario World. Um, very, very cool um, for those to be in there. They were all the good games for, you know, what, what he had. They were all good, so that was very, very cool. Awesome finds there. All right, next we have a PS1 console here. And it has an aftermarket, um, what brand is that? Mad Cats. Aftermarket Mad Cats memory card in there. Um, very, very clean PS1. Button opens perfectly. Um, not a flaw at all. This, was, this thing was really clean as well. It's just dusty. I mean, it had probably a good inch thick's worth of dust on it, which is, that was, you know, not too bad to clean up. But that's pretty cool. Um, and that came with an aftermarket uh, Pelican brand RF switch there. And the power cord, very cool. And then it came with um, one non dual shock controller and one dual shock controller there. Both work perfectly fine. The dual shock one has a slight rattle in it, but not bad. Um, but the thing is, is I'm going to hang on to this controller, the non dual shock one. It is basically brand new. He probably used the uh, dual shock one more than this one. And uh, that definitely shows because this looks brand new. Um, so I don't have one like this yet. I've never really cared to keep them, uh, but since this one looks so new, I am definitely going to hang on to it. So that's very cool. All right, and then do you want to show that? Sure. All right, and then we've got another console here, and uh, Tyler's going to keep this and replace his because this is a little bit more banged up, and this one looks so nice that I figured you know he'd probably want a better looking console, and so he's going to keep this one. And we'll sell his off. And that is a PS2 fat console. Very, very clean console. It's got one, like, mark right up here, um, but not bad at all. Uh, plays perfectly. Uh, it was just a little dusty is all, and that's not bad, so very cool. And it, sorry. It came with two memory cards. I was going to let him say it, but, you yeah. know, you can see those. It's got the red one and the blue one there, both official Sony brand. Um, very cool. Um, he had some saves on them. Um, of course, you know, that's what they're using them for, but anyways, came with... Both cords. Got the AV and the power. Very nice. 
Yeah, we're trying to get used to the new camera at the same time. It's the LCD is reversed. Um, that's not how the uh, other camera was. So we're trying to get used to. So if you see me holding something like over here, it's because it's you know it's a reverse mirror image of where I'm sitting. So where I'm sitting, it's like opposite of what I'm looking at right now. So sorry if I, you know, look like I'm holding stuff over here and I'm trying to bring it over here. It's it's complicated, but we're working on it. <laughs> uh, one official controller. Very nice shape. Very cool. Um, that was really cool to see in there, um, because especially in that condition, that was really good. So it also came with uh, the Pelican Predator 24 controller, the manual I showed you for earlier. There's the controller. Came with the dongle. Um, it's got a slight rattle in it, I think. Yeah, it's got a slight rattle in it, but it's not too bad. Did you say it's like a twelve dollar controller? Or so? Yeah, twelve thirteen, I think. It's not too bad. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a wireless controller that I didn't have, so I'm gonna hang on to it. It's pretty cool looking, so it's not bad. So Tyler's definitely gonna be hanging on to the PS2 console. We'll sell his off. So very cool. All right, and then you can hand those over to me real quick. We'll go ahead and do those. All right, and then I also showed you these manuals just a little bit ago, and these will accommodate those. First one here is we've got the Paddle Games Atari. Um, plug and play game here. Very nice shape. I think this one's almost brand new. If not, it is brand new. Still got the twisty tie on the cord, uh, which is definitely really cool. So I don't have one like that yet, so I'll definitely hang on to that. Um, next one here is we have the Frogger plug and play. Very nice shape. I'm um, not sure if it's in better condition than mine, but um, very clean. Uh, works very nicely as well, so that's cool. And then this one is the Namco TV Games plug and play. Um, very, very cool. Very clean as well. Again, worked great. Um, again, I don't know if it's um, better than mine or not. I'll have to take a look. But it is very clean, so that's very cool. So those were in there as well. And by the way, those were the things that he bring out first. So I thought at first that was all the stuff they were going to have until he mentioned he had other stuff like the Super Nintendo and the PS1 and stuff. Um, so very, very cool. All right. Now, last console that we have to show you guys, and then we'll show you all the games that came with all the stuff. I know I showed the Super Nintendo games, but they were, there was only three of them, so that's why I showed them. Um, and same with the Game Boy games. But anyways, we have here a complete in box black Nintendo Wii, guys. Very, very cool. Um, I already have one like this, but this one will definitely probably upgrade mine. Uh, just because mine's kind of banged up, the box is a little rough. Uh, console has scratches and stuff in it. It was, it was from my friend Everett that I purchased from him for like four years ago, I think. Um, but I think it's about time for that one to go and uh, for this one to move in. So, box is in very nice shape. This is the empty box. I did uh, leave it open so I could show you guys, you know, somewhat how good condition it looks. Um, but it has all the baggies and all the twisty ties and stuff. There's the first tray. It has the nunchuck in there and uh, the, uh, what is that? The AV and the sensor bar and stuff. Very nice shape. The nunchuck's never been used. Um, this was the mother's console, mainly. Um, so she said she only played it like three times, maybe. Um, and her dad, which he's, you know, probably in his, I'd say, late 70s, played it a couple times, too, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, there's a couple games in here that were uh, strictly his that look like they were probably never even played. Um, so that we'll get to in a minute. Um, but anyways, here is the other tray, which holds the Wii. And it is a very nice-looking Wii, guys. I mean, this thing is flawless. It's got a couple light scratches, but, I mean... That is very nice for, you know, this day and age for, you know, the Wii and everything. Especially the black one, which shows, like, the most scratching and dust and, you know, all that kind of stuff in it. Um, but anyways, it came with the official controller the um, had the, uh, what do they call that, the Wii Motion Plus built into it. Um, it's got the power cord there. Uh, the only thing it's missing is Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. Um, but mine that I currently have has that. Um, so I'll probably just switch those out and everything. And it also is missing the manuals. Um, but I'll just swap that out and stuff. And when I, if and when I go to sell mine, um, it won't be complete unless I complete it by then. Um, but chances are I probably won't be able to sell it with both games and the manuals just because I want to have the complete one for myself, of course. So, um, but anyways, very, very clean Wii. Very excited to see that in there with their bundle. I thought that was awesome. That's what they were originally referring to, and that's what caught me uh, by surprise that they had that. That was just awesome.